Child, let me preface this by saying, if you own any of the items that I'm talking about here today, love it, enjoy it. I have a bunch of things that people look at and are wondering what the hell am I thinking? What the hell is going on in my mind? <sighs> Don't be sensitive, you know, don't be catching feelings. It's not that serious. What is going on, you guys? Welcome, welcome back to Leaning Into Lux. Today's video is all about the shoe trends that I absolutely cannot stand. I hate, hate, hate these shoes you guys and i don't know you guys will tell me down in the comments once you've seen the video whether or not you agree with my opinion regarding these shoes and whether or not you guys are buying these are you the target market i mean are you guys actually going out and spending thousands of dollars on these shoes let me know so shoe number one this shoe is everywhere the chanel dead sandal now we all have been through you know the whole dead sneaker vibes which i must admit i am a fan i love dead sneakers the dead sandals guys what is going on here what is this you guys let me know because i i honestly do not understand what is going on here they really blew up in the last year that is 2020 and they've taken the fashion world by storm i mean all the fashion girls are wearing these they are absolutely everywhere and the girls seem to be loving them and i for the life of me cannot figure out why i look at this shoe it is a velcro mess it is i don't know if it's like if somebody looked at birkenstocks and somehow decided that they needed to reinvent them i really don't understand the fashion girls are really loving these they are wearing them with their jeans they're very popular in dressing them up with dresses i don't know i cannot get behind these and when i look at the price point as well i'm thinking <laughs> no ma'am like i could easily put that money towards my savings for maybe getting a cute bag or something let me know what you guys think because for me i also don't see these lasting i just see these being you know a flash in the pan moment they are going to go out of style pretty quickly i could be wrong I'm not an expert in terms of what is lasting, what is not in fashion. However, when I look at this particular style, I am more inclined to think that they are probably going to be a one, two season wonder and then we're going to forget about them. All the other fashion brands saw what Chanel had done and how these have taken off and they are now all slowly but surely releasing their own version of the dead sandal. I know that Dior has dropped their version, Gucci has dropped their version and the others are also slowly coming to the party and as with all things that are trendy the dupe market has also come to the party and we have seen azos has dropped some i think ego has dropped their own version they are absolutely everywhere and i really still don't get it i don't get it i don't like them i don't want to think about them take them away <laughs> <laughs> go away by the way if you are new here my name is kitimetze and on this channel i post content relating to all things fashion and lifestyle leading into lux of course so if that sounds like your type of vibe then pull up a chair subscribe to the channel and become part of our growing leaning into lux family item number two on the list the valentino rock starred meals <sighs> what in the pointy mess is going on here i don't know who thought this was a great idea but apparently they were right because once again i am seeing these so much i am seeing so many people who seem to be loving these and i'm talking about the flat version i mean oh my gosh i know that for a good while the balenciaga knife mules have been killing it you know people are loving that type of extreme pointed toe style that we have seen with you know that particular brand however i don't know i think valentino somehow threw in a little bit too much there's just way too much going on with this particular shoe that pointy toe it elongates your foot you know you, people are walking around with these 
seriously long long feet that are uncomfortable to look at to put it mildly you know it just is a little bit odd and then they had to go and put this band around the ankle with nothing holding onto that heel am i seeing correctly because for me it is such a weird and uncomfortable looking type of fit on a foot at least if perhaps this was you know a sling back type of hold on that heel but your heel is just left there to dangle all on its own i have not seen these in person nor do i wish to <laughs> i just feel like it is so odd but again people are loving these i have seen them all over the place on social media maybe they were well thought out and i'm just not hip to the fashion like that i will however say i have seen these in the healed version and i see myself liking and wearing that version the healed version it feels more balanced to me it isn't as elongated and awkward as the flat mule version is that is probably the one that i would gravitate towards number three on the list are the jw anderson chain loafers <sighs> Whew. i look at these and i am reminded of clogs i see them and they're big and bulbous and it's almost like it was somebody decided to come up with something in between a crock and a clog and this is what they came to and then they put on that gold chain and they came up with this and again just like everything else on this list these shoes are highly highly beloved and sought out currently in fashion they are a big trendy piece i see them all the time in fact all of my favorite influences that i follow are on to the shoe trend and i have seen also every time that you know sales happen if this shoe is on the sales the girls are running to grab this shoe now i have heard some good things i've heard that this is probably one of the most comfortable shoe that you can wear so it makes sense the comfort level must be there i i like to be comfortable so i can be persuaded but i see myself only ever wearing these inside the house they retail for over six hundred dollars and why would i be spending that amount of money if it's going to be a house shoe of everything on this list i probably believe it or not hate this shoe the least as compared to the rest but i also think that it is really one of those shoes that is made for the girls who know how to really really style up their looks i think if you see it on the fashion girls you can be tempted to think i could get away with doing this and if you aren't somebody who really dresses down you know can put together a look with the quickness and the ease then i see you struggling really to fully enjoy the shoe for what it is that you pay for it so it is i don't know it's so right in the middle of this video for the simple fact that i think it is probably the one item that i am somewhere up in the air about although i know for certain it is not for me i know in the beginning this is not what i sounded like but i truly do believe that i think i can sort of see where somebody would be looking at this shoe and feeling like it is something quite special i just don't think that it is made for everyone it's something to consider are you somebody who is able to put together a good look we are just past the halfway point on this list and i just wanted to remind you don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already subscribed and do leave a comment down below and hit that like button number four on the list this one is really about a whole trend in a group of shoes it isn't one particular shoe and it is platform sneakers i have said it already in this video how much it is that i enjoy a good dad sneaker we are now seeing a resurgence of platformed 
sneakers and i say resurgence because this just took me back to you know my grade five year where everybody was trying to get their hands on those spice girl type of platform sneakers i remember you know those talent show days or if it was civvies day or fancy dress i don't know what you called it at your schools during those times and all the girls we all wanted to wear you know the sketches and the spice shoes those big ones with the huge platforms they have made a comeback they've made a comeback and everybody seems to be doing it from your converse and gucci is doing it prada is doing it everybody is bringing some sort of version of the platform sneaker and this is a trend i cannot get behind yes there are a lot of great things about the 90s that we love that are slowly making their way back into fashion this is one that should have stayed in the 90s and no one should have gone and dug this back up and if you are one of those who thought that dag sneakers make you look like you're wearing bricks on your feet or whatever what do you have to say about this what is this i feel like sometimes you know the fashion cycles get really lazy and don't really want to get innovative and think about giving us newness and therefore we want to recycle and recycle and sometimes in doing that recycling it's a whole mess and i think that this is a really really huge miss i could be thinking this way because at the height of that platform sneaker trend during my time i was you know in my pre-teen years and that is the lens that i was first introduced to this type of shoe so i look at them now and i think about my 11 year old i think about teenagers and preteens that is the age group that i tend to feel like those are made for they seem overly young to me and i know that they're not targeted towards the kids because i have seen many women my age or in the age range that is way past teenagers who are wearing these i can buy these for my daughter but don't ever think you would catch me wearing those platform sneakers no item number five the christopher kane orthopedic shoe these actually were made in collaboration with an orthopedic shoe brand called z coil z coil i have read that these shoes that christopher kane did as ugly as they look the z coil design was actually meant to really put less stress on the heel they are made to be really comfortable now it's a question of whether does function overtake the look does comfort um supersede aesthetics you be the judge christopher kane sees certain trends and he says you think that's ugly i can one up you on the ugly you will almost always deliver on the ugly or even perhaps over deliver i have now since seen similar styles being done by other fashion brands more specifically balenciaga have released these i was going to call them sneakers but i don't think they are sneakers because they do have that heel that is similar to those z coil ones and then they did them with like the finger not finger it's your toes so toe detailing like on the i'll put up pictures but i have seen actual people okay the models on the runways are people too but i mean like everyday people wearing these out yeah this is the stuff my nightmares are made of sometimes i think that designers really do try things and want to test out the waters and as consumers the more outrageous it is and the more outrageous it looks the more we think i will seem fashion forward i will appear like i know what i'm talking about if i go with this trend and i think this is what these shoes are make it make sense do you guys actually look at these and think these are cute am i a little bit too conservative in my style that shoe looks like it is a soccer boot mixed with an orthopedic granny shoe 
and then there's some sort of alien heel going on there i think it was intentionally made to be ugly and then they're topped with like all these crystals on top i actually look at that heel and it almost looks like it's like a springboard like you're about to be launched like you're about to leap maybe these are great for like if you're a runner like they could just springboard you off and you're off you know i don't know <laughs> i don't know that is it for this video you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below were any of your favorites part of this list what would be your five that you would put on a list like this and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button please do make sure you are subscribed to the channel there's more great content coming your way and thank you for watching all the way till the very end i appreciate every single one of you and i will see you guys on the next one